I mean, I've been playing video games my whole life. I uh, have uh, based much of my career within the industry of either directly touching video games or indirectly touching video games. I appreciate how far the industry has grown and how much it's matured. Um, I personally had some familiarity with competitive gaming way back when I was a, um, an early investor in game spy industries where we dabbled with some broadcasting of competitive gaming, kind of pre-brand with being commoditized. So it was a money losing venture for us back then, but we definitely saw the type of engagement back then, which led me to keep a, an acute eye on, on the growth of the esports marketplace. Uh, we then at Lionsgate made a very early, small yet strategic investment in Mob Crush, the leading streaming native mobile uh, platform, I think Twitch for mobile gaming. Um, and then we were the first of the studios to invest in an esports franchise, Immortals, which includes the LA Valiant, which competes in the Overwatch League, as well as a team in Dota 2, Counter-Strike, Super Smash, uh, now in Mobile Arena, Valor, uh, and uh, Clash Royale. The thing that they did at Activision Blizzard that no one else has done is recognize the hardest thing to do, I think, in all of media is to create a globally successful competitive esport title. There's a handful. You're talking Dota 2, Overwatch, Counter-Strike, League, StarCraft, you know, perhaps just a bit behind. Even so, that doesn't mean that those people that are behind game ops and publishing and marketing of those games knows anything about what it means to stand up a next generation 21st century competitive league. That is a completely discrete discipline. And I think that is the thing that we saw from Activision Blizzard that they were doing differently. And so the types of executives that are running Overwatch League are a smattering of executives who bring acumen from gaming, media, marketing, licensing and merchandise, as well as the DNA of physically running these types of live events globally. And that is something we just had not seen um, from a individual publisher. The energy of it is uh, incredible. Um, the, the fan bases are so enthusiastic for the content and the product, the innovation that goes on around it. And, and that's just not the innovation, not just the innovation around the live events, but even gameplay, right? So taking the feedback from your, your consuming constituency and then um, making changes to your product and A-B testing. So not all of it works and you hear loudly. And that kind of energy to me is very intoxicating. That to me is what keeps me um, fired up and enthusiastic about, about esports.